welcome back to Beauty Bee and to my August update for my project pan. I have a little bit of progress to show this month, I think. So, I don't know. It's a project pan. What introduction do we need? Let's just jump straight into it with face products. Now, the only item that is still in this category from the very beginning is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. My goal this year is to finish this thing and uh, it's not going very well. Last month I was up here and this month I have moved, um, I don't know, half a centimeter down to here. I will mark it after the video, but thankfully I haven't been dealing with a whole lot of acne with the exception of today. My skin has been relatively clear and I don't know. I just haven't been using this. No good reason for it whatsoever. Next up in this category, we have my Wet n Wild highlighting palettes. My goal at the beginning of the year was just to hit pan in one of these shades and well, mission accomplished. So I decided that I wanted to additionally hit pan in another shade, which would probably be this pink. And I actually think that I might be getting pretty close. I don't know how well you will be able to see it, but there is quite a dip going on over here. And you know, looking at this powder, I think you can tell these aren't exactly deep pans. So, so I think that I can probably hit pan on this pink shade in the next few months, certainly before the end of the year. I think that it would probably be doable in two months if I really focused on this, but who knows if that's going to actually happen. And then finally, the last item that I have in my face category is my Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. This is in the shade Rosé Champagne. And my goal for this year is to get this pan to the size of quarter, which look at that, me being prepared. I'm actually getting pretty close. Um, it's so thin through this whole center area that I think that will actually be pretty easily achievable over the next maybe two months. And once that I achieve that, I'm just going to keep working on this. The whole reason that this is in the project is to prep it for next year when I want to pan it completely. So any progress I can make on this will be much appreciated next year, I'm sure. Next, let's move to my miscellaneous category. I have a lotion and a uh, skincare treatment in this. First up, we have this, the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension. My goal is to finish this, but I tried to use this a few times in the last month and it made my skin super, super oily. I don't know why that is. I'm not sure if it's just because it's July and I should maybe come back to this in the fall or if it was just not reacting well with some other skincare I was using. Though I don't think that my skincare routine had changed very much since I was last using this. But in any case, I used this maybe three times this month and it made me super oily each time. I'm going to just put this to the side and maybe I can revisit this sometime in like later September, October. And then the only other item that I have in this category is a body lotion. This is from Bath & Body Works. It's their Live Fresh Seaside Breeze scent. It's just a beachy scent. And I really want to have this done by the end of summer or be really close to having it done by the end of summer. So because I just know that I won't want to use this in November because it is so beachy. And I'll also probably want to use something a little bit thicker and a little bit more moisturizing when it gets really cold and dry out. And now that I've been holding this and shaking it a little bit, you can't actually see where the line is in the product itself, but luckily I have marked it. Here is where I started when I rolled this in sometime in June, I want to say. And then here's where I was at the beginning of July. And somehow I've used less in the full month than I did in the two or three weeks in between 
when I rolled it in and my first update with it, but that's kind of par for the course with this project, honestly. Though I really think that I'm actually a bit lower. I think that I marked this not last night, but the night before because I was planning on filming this video yesterday morning. So I've used it twice since then. And I suspect that I'm really a little bit lower. But in any case, I need to make more progress on this in the next month. I just haven't been using body lotion. It's not something that I think to do during the summer unless my skin gets really dry. And I could avoid my skin getting really dry and painful if I was just more consistent. Goodness, it shouldn't be this hard. Next up, I think we're going to move to lip products and let's start with the most exciting update. I have an empty. This is my Maybelline Pink for me and it is gone. I am so happy to be done with this thing because I have another lipstick that is a super similar color that is also in this project that I was not making any progress on because I was trying so hard to finish that up. This is my Revlon lipstick in the shade Sassy Mauve. I have a sheet where I've marked my progress on my other lipsticks and um, let's see. I have made progress. That is my line from when I rolled this product in and now I am down to the second line. I really have no idea if I'm on track to meet my goal of using half of this up by the end of the year. But again, pretty similar to the um, Wet n Wild blush. My goal with this in this project is more to prep it to pan it next year than I really care about actually hitting my use mark for this year. So I'm happy with how things are going. I think that I'm at least moving in the right direction. I'm not like secretly adding product in at night. I have two other lipsticks. The first is the Wet n Wild Peach Please. And here is what that looks like. Again, like with the Revlon lipstick, my goal is to finish up half of this. It is such a mess. It's such a soft sort of waxy formula. It's one of their glowy finish, glossy finish lipsticks. It doesn't actually say on here. In any case, I think partially because the lipstick bullet is so crooked and partially because I uh, just haven't used it a whole lot, it's really hard to track progress on this thing. I don't know if I've actually just been um, rounding out this point the way that it looks like, or if I've been making more progress. I feel I don't think I've used a ton of it over the last month and a half. So at least the amount seems right, but I will see with the next product that I have no idea how I was tracking progress on these. I think that I am seeing progress but I don't think that my method of tracking is very good. We'll see with the next product. Uh, this is the Maybelline Almond Rose lipstick. My goal is to finish this this year. And I have used it a few times in this month, so that's good at least. But remember, here is what this lipstick looks like. And now look at my image. This is this one all the way on the far side. And that's how far apparently I think I am along in the lipstick. No, I am, that is a very optimistic view of my panning progress. But I do think that I have made progress on this and I think my image is just bad. I think I did a bad job of tracing or something. So we're, so we're just labeling this progress picture WBC, uh, which is a set of initials that I saw way too often on my math tests. Wrong, but consistent. And I think that's probably a pretty fair 
description of my attempts at tracking progress. And then for the last category, we have eyeshadow. This is definitely the category that I'm having the hardest time with. And let's just start out with the product that is giving me probably the most trouble. This is my NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. And my goal is to just hit pan in these four shades. Now this green, I hit goal on quite a while ago. And this blue, I've been saying for like six months or something that I feel like I'm really close and might hit pan within the next month. And then I never do. So maybe it's never ending. I don't know. I did roll this into a project where it's sort of the focus item, which I will link up in the card in case you are interested. But um, I have used it a few times in that project, but it's slow going. I don't know why I'm having such a harder time with this than I was with the green even though they're really not that dissimilar and the formulas are the same. I, I don't know, I'm struggling. I've made practically no dent in this purple and I do have a dent, but not nowhere near hitting pan in this green. So pretty much the same state with this palette that I'm always in in these updates. Next up, we have my City Mini palette. This one is in Chill Brush Neutrals. There's actually two of them in this project. And my goal with this palette is to finish off these two shades. This sort of matte lilac shade and then this gold. And I will pop up progress pictures, but I do think that I'm making slow but steady progress. I don't know though if it might be a little too slow to actually hit my goal by the end of the year. I don't know. We'll see. I have been trying to make a point of using this gold a little bit more often, but the purple is still a struggle. And then finally, we're getting to the good portions of this eyeshadow update. First, we have the other Maybelline City Mini palette. I'm trying to finish off this shade and I have made great progress on it this month. If you were here at last month's update, I had some product left in this corner that I have emptied out and uh, this, this side had product all throughout it. And I have hit some pretty good side pan there's really not a whole lot of product left in this corner. I feel like I can definitely use that up this month and then I can start chipping away at this uh, upper line of product that's remaining. I think that I am definitely on track to finish this by the end of the year. I think that if I was good and consistent about using this, I could probably finish it in two months, but I don't know if I'll be good and consistent about using it. That, that seems unlikely based on my previous track record. Another product that I think I could have done in two months if I was consistent is this Wet n Wild uh, Champagne shade. I believe that this is originally from the Silent Treatment quad, though I have since repressed it into this single pan and you can tell I just have a little bit of product left around the edges. I've been using this every day to set my eyeshadow primer, so it's been going pretty quickly. I think I said it would, could be done in two months, honestly. Maybe it could be one month if I was just really consistent about using it. I don't have a good sense for just how thick this product is around the edges and how much I'm using every time, but... In any case, I'm definitely on track to have this gone by the end of the year, which I am so happy about. And then finally, we have my second empty for the month. This is a NYX shadow. This was originally in my Avant Pop palette in Nouveau Chic. This is the shade that I called Style Nouil. Um, it was a matte light beige. It's just a little bit deeper than a than a, your standard cream or bone colored eyeshadow. I also used this to um, set down my eyeshadow primer. There really wasn't a whole lot left in the last 
update. It is not surprising to me that I finished this this month, but I'm really glad to be another shadow down. It's been quite a while, I think, since I completely panned an eyeshadow. And, man, seeing that empty pan is just really satisfying. I will put up the checklist of the various products that are in this project so you can see my progress throughout the year. I think that I'm actually doing a really good job at moving through things. I've definitely finished up quite a few items this year and hit goal on several others. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. Please consider liking and subscribing if you did, and I really hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!